Hi, this is Allison Gardner and I'm here with the Medicaid Minute. A pair of papers in JAMA Internal Medicine got me thinking about laws allowing marijuana use and whether they might be part of the solution to turn the tide on the opioid crisis. In the U.S., opioid prescription rates have tripled since 1999. In the state of Illinois, where I live, there was a 37% increase in prescription opioid deaths between 2015 and 2016 alone. In one of these studies, opioid prescriptions filled through Medicare Part D decreased by 2.2 million daily doses per year in states that enacted medical marijuana laws. In the other, states that legalized medical marijuana use had a 5.9% per year drop in the rate of Medicaid-covered opioid prescriptions. The few states that went a step further and legalized recreational marijuana use had an additional 6.4% decrease. While there are important limitations to consider with both studies, these data suggest that medical and recreational marijuana laws are associated with reductions in opioid prescribing. Legal access to marijuana has also been linked with fewer opioid-related overdose deaths. I support medical marijuana use, though I haven't had a strong opinion about broader legalization. I certainly haven't thought about it in the context of addressing the opioid epidemic before, but I think this is a really interesting idea. What do you think? Could expanding laws on medical or recreational marijuana use be part of the response to the opioid crisis? Or is this trading one set of problems for another? Please share your comments and I'll see you next time.